The Diocese of Greensburg welcomes you to Christmas Mass from Blessed Sacrament Cathedral in Greensburg. We would like to extend special thanks to all of the sponsors who made this broadcast possible. God's work continues all over the Diocese of Greensburg despite the COVID-19 pandemic. In the last nine months, our parishes provided more than 15,000 people in need with financial support, clothing, food, grocery delivery, and spiritual comfort. Please remember your parish at Christmas. Visit dioceseofgreensburg.org. Under the Giving tab at the top of the page, click on Donate to Your Parish. There, you can select an amount for a one-time gift or a reoccurring donation. You can then designate a parish and enter your information. Your continued financial support during this difficult time will help our parishes to maintain and continue God's work. On behalf of the Diocese of Greensburg, thank you for your prayers and generous support. My yes was predicated on my love of the diocese, my being here at home in Western Pennsylvania, and what a blessing it is for me and an honor to be able to serve the diocese that is my home, the diocese where I was raised, the diocese where I first heard the call to priesthood, the diocese where I received all of my sacraments, the diocese I was ordained for, the diocese that I've served for the last 28 years. Um, I don't underestimate um, the blessing of that and the awesome responsibility that comes with that. I'm not fearful about that work. I'm confident. But what I need is your help, and together we all need to work together to continue to build up the church. If I were to say two focuses that I don't think anyone would disagree, it's got to be catechesis and evangelization. No, we have to know the faith. We have to proclaim the faith. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to proclaim that faith with our entire being. I ask for your help. I ask you to join us. And together, together, let us move down the road to make the Diocese of Greensburg even stronger in the faith of Jesus Christ. Hello. I am Monsignor Raymond Riffle, Managing Director of Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Greensburg. Today's second collection supports our Catholic Charities ministry. I ask you to prayerfully consider supporting our work. With so many schools transitioning to online learning and the lack of free lunch programs, many of the individuals we are currently assisting are children. In addition to the daily need of food for children, urgent baby supply requests are coming in at almost every hour. At the same time, we are responding to meet the needs of the recently unemployed who are struggling with rent and utilities. Needless to say, these are all time critical requests. I am extremely proud to say the Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Greensburg is responding to those calls and using every resource which we have available to help. Our work can only continue with your support. Right now, we need your stewardship more than ever. I ask you to please take a moment and pray for those who are suffering, those who are in need, and for the safety of all who serve us every day on the front lines of the COVID-19 health crisis. I ask you to please consider visiting our website, ccharitiesgreensburg.org. Click on Get Involved and learn how you can volunteer or donate. Click the Donate Now button at the bottom of the screen. On our website, you can also learn about how Catholic Charities connects people with the vital assistance they need. However, in this time of social distancing, we are taking connectivity even one step further. I'm happy to tell you that Catholic Charities counselors will be available through a form of telecounseling for those struggling with their mental health during this crisis. 
From the bottom of my heart, I say to you, thank you. Christmas traditions from around the world are showcased in the Catholic accent. Slovak, Italian, German, and Filipino traditions, plus a traditional nut roll recipe, along with a modern baking hack. Learn more about the Feast of the Seven Fishes and the significance of the Italian tradition at Christmas time, plus the Filipino Christmas traditions, many of which have traveled across the world to Western PA. Stories, videos, and the entire Christmas traditions TV show are all available on theaccentonline.org. We hope you enjoyed this special broadcast. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Blessed New Year. the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. I would like to welcome all of you here to Blessed Sacrament Cathedral today as we join in celebrating the great solemnity of the Nativity of our Lord. And as we gather together today on this Christmas day and prepare now to enter into our worship together, let us begin as we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing 
heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then they shall, and all the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through his Son, whom he made heir of all things and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, this day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God and with God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life. And this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. 
But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. I would like to begin this homily today by first extending to each and every one of you my personal wishes for a very merry and blessed Christmas. My prayer for each of you today as we celebrate the anniversary of the birth of Christ is that the Holy Child born this day in the lowly manger in Bethlehem may bless you and all of your loved ones, and that he may bestow his blessings in the ways of giving you his peace, his love, and his joy. This year has certainly been a challenging one for us in so many respects. And as we currently continue to experience the ravages of this pandemic, affecting so many that we know and love, we pray on this Christmas Day that the gift of God's comfort, strength, and solace may be with all of those who have or are currently facing the many challenges this disease is inflicting. We also remember today, on this Christmas Day, those who have died this year from COVID. On this day when we celebrate the beginning of the gift of our salvation through the mystery of the Incarnation, we pray that our faithful departed may find that light, that peace, that eternal rest. I would like to thank all of you who have joined us today for this Mass on Christmas Day on behalf of our entire diocesan administration, our staffs, and of course all of our parishes throughout the Diocese of Greensburg. I would like to thank you for joining us today here at Blessed Sacrament Cathedral, the Mother Church of the Diocese of Greensburg as we celebrate the Nativity of our Lord. I know for many of you, this is an important mode of staying connected with your faith, the faith that you love so much by participating in the Holy Mass. And especially today on Christmas Day, this most sacred day, We are delighted that you are able to be with us, and we pray that the blessings of this day may extend into the new year to come. Our gospel for the Christmas Day Mass, as Deacon Hisker has just proclaimed, is from the very beginning of St. John's Gospel. And in that gospel that we heard proclaimed, we hear St. John saying, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. 
My dear brothers and sisters, we know so well how very important words are. Because words have meaning, and meaning is key to our human understanding, and understanding forms our perspective on the world in which we live. As people of faith, we recognize that words even affect what we hold fast to, what we believe, and even sometimes through the generations, what we die for. St. John reminds us in the Gospel today that the eternal Word becomes flesh and dwells with us. This eternal Word is Jesus, who in taking on our human nature through the mystery of the Incarnation, saves us from our sins and offers us the gift of eternal life. My dear friends, not only are words important, but how we spell words are very important. And how we know so well today in our culture with word check, how we can be doing a document and put in a word and we put it through spell check and it goes through, but it's not the word we wanted to use or intended, but it doesn't come up as an error. How we spell words are very important. And recently, while I was driving in my car, I had the radio, probably like many of you at this time of the year, set to one of the channels that plays holiday music. And all of a sudden, an older song came on the radio, and it was being sung by the famous son of Cannonsburg the Western Pennsylvania boy known as Perry Como. And this song was actually recorded by Mr. Como in 1953. But it was originally written by Eddie Arnold and Mary Lou Carson and was first recorded in 1949. So we can imagine, almost 70 years ago. And it goes like this. When I was but a youngster, Christmas meant one thing, that I would be getting lots of toys that day. And the lyric goes on to say, I learned a whole lot different when mother sat me down and taught me to spell Christmas this way. C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S. Mr. Como beautifully goes on to sing. C is for the Christ child born upon this day. H for herald angels singing in the night. R means our Redeemer. I means Israel. S is for the star that shone so bright. T is for the three wise men, they who traveled far. M is for the manger where he lay. A is for all he stands for. S means shepherds came, and that's why there's a Christmas day. Well, after I had heard that song, I was sort of moved, thinking of all of the beautiful religious imagery of each of those words that spelled Christmas. And a little later in the day, I was talking to a priest friend of mine, and I was telling him how I was moved in the car by the song from Mr. Como that I myself hadn't heard for a long, long time. And I then went on to tell him, I said, boy, I bet if they were singing or composing that song today, it might have a lot of a different lyric. And so later that day, 
My friend emailed me and he said, guess what? There is a modern version that's been made decades later. And he sent me a copy of the more modern version. And it goes like this. C is for the candy trimmed around the tree. H is for the happiness all the gifts will bring to me. R is for the reindeer prancing by the window pane. I is for the icing on the cake as sweet as sugar cane. S is for the stockings hanging on the chimney wall. T is for the toys and also for the tree that is so tall. M is for the mistletoe where everyone is kissed. A is for the angels, ah, who make up Santa's list. S is for Santa who makes every child his friend. Be good and he'll bring you everything in your Christmas alphabet. Seventy years and a very different way of spelling Christmas. My dear brothers and sisters, words and spelling are very important. St. John reminds us not only of how the Word became flesh and what that Word coming to earth meant for humanity, salvation itself, but the sacred scriptures and the church's tradition also tell us especially on this holy day, as we now gather around this altar to celebrate Christ's Mass. That indeed, we, as people of faith, know and indeed are called to spell Christmas through the eyes of faith. How, my dear friends, do you spell Christmas on this Christmas day? I suggest you use five letters. J-E-S-U-S. Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and a life of the world to come.
With joy, we lift up our prayers to our loving God, who manifests his glory to the entire world this day through his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our response today is, Hear us, O Lord. For Pope Francis and the whole lead the church, may they always seek to open the hearts of all to the love of God made flesh in Jesus, our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That people of every land and faith may strive to live together in peace and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For the poor and for all who struggle for even the basic necessities of life, that they may know the compassion and love of God through the service of all disciples, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all of the sick and those who care for them, that Jesus, the divine physician, will heal the sick, protect the healthy, comfort the fearful, and give respite to the weary, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all who have died, both here and around the world, that the dearly departed and those who mourn their loss may take courage and find renewed hope in the promise of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Loving God, you are the source of the light which dispels this world's darkness. We thank you for this day, for the gift of your Son, the Prince of Peace, who comes to us as the hope of all the world. Grant that the prayers of all your people this day may be heard and answered according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and terror pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary soul rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious Yeah. 
his name, all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus raise me, let all within us praise his holy name. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. For our good and of all of Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of all things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so may he, the giver of all immortality, keep us who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen would like to take this opportunity again to thank all of you for joining us today for this wonderful Mass on the Solemnity of the Nativity of our Lord. And again, on behalf of all of us in the Diocese of Greensburg, I wish you a very merry and blessed Christmas. I also would like to take the opportunity to thank all who have made this day possible 
and this Mass. And a special word of thanks to Monsignor Riffle and the staff here at the Cathedral. A special word of thanks to you, Deacon Bill, for your great work in deaconing today to our servers, our lectors, to our music ministers, Chris and to Tom, to all who've worked behind the scenes, and a very special word of thanks to our communication and IT departments, all who have made this a beautiful celebration. And I hope in a special way for those who are joining us through television and maybe particularly or unable to be at Mass in person, that this has been a way of celebrating the joy of this day and uniting ourselves together with Christians all over the world as we celebrate the anniversary of the birth of Christ. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this holy day, drive far from the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God who willed that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of the gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought the earthly and heavenly realm together, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain forever with you. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.